Uh, during a karaoke night at Fatso's, a bar and grilly restaurant, I sang a total of four songs. I sang P Purple Rain by Prince, then Still Loving You by the Scorpions. I picked the first one because that's the one Mom wanted me to sing yesterday at the Will Inn, but they didn't get to me in time for me to sing that one. I picked the second one because I also know that Mom likes that song when I sing it. The third one was Yellow by Coldplay. Since it's a song I know that I'm good at since it's a slower paced song. Then for the last song I did Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue. At first I felt a bit, a tiny bit frustrated, maybe would be the best way to describe it, since at times I feel that the frequent karaoke nights at different places around our area ultimately presents an obstacle in my star foam drawings. I knew we were going somewhere tonight. And before I even went to bed last night, so... I think I did some work on the Josh Allen star foam drawing before we left for Fatso's at around 4, 45 p.m. And before that, around the time I got up in the afternoon, around 1.30, 1 1.30 p.m., I did some work on the Ladybug female Mutual Libre wrestler because my initial plan for today was to finish that star foam drawing and then start another. alternate star foam drawing project and because I didn't want to bring that ladybug star foam drawing in progress to another karaoke night each time I do there's 
a non-zero chance that it'll be damaged in some way, whether that be having a drink spilled on it, or to, due to an impact with a door. That ended up not happening because I got up so late. And plus I urgently needed to create and then upload the UCut project file. Uh, for the My Dinner video from... August 13, or the day Mom and I went to Whitesville during their bicentennial celebration events. Because it was such a day, I knew it would end up being a long my dinner video, and I was right. Combined with the photo part that was so long, I had to use two U Cut music tracks for it. And two long raw videos. So the file ended up being, the video ended up being 47 minutes long. It took a, about a couple of hours at mom's place for it to get to the one third mark. And then some of the karaoke night at Fatso's, I would even say a majority of it, it lasted from roughly 6 to 10 p.m. for it to finish uploading. I tried to uh, stick to a keto diet by getting the chicken fingers entree and then substituting the fries for a side salad and then I figured getting medium sauce would result in me getting a sauce with either no sugar in it or minimal sugar in it. I got the side salad, but then they ended up giving me fries anyway at no extra cost. It's something like that that makes me assume that they have an overflow of fries that they need to get rid of before they have to just throw them away. That's a thought that rose in me. Rose in me in the immediate aftermath of me getting fries with the chicken fingers despite trying to substitute the fries
with a side salad. For my dressing, I picked ranch. Since that's the most straightforward of salad dressings. Now this right here is part of, it's one of two Southwest avocado salads that mom and I got from Wendy's. While on the way home from Fatso's after their karaoke night ended. In between songs, I made pretty good progress on the Ladybug Mucho Libre Wrestler. And in fact, now I'm pretty much almost done with it. As I worked on the back of her yoga pants, has a Mutual Libre wrestler or spandex pants, whatever they are. I noticed that the red dual tip Sharpie marker in this, my marker satchel is starting to dry up. But it still lasted me long enough for me to finish the backside of the spandex pants. All I have left to do are the black wrappings for the feet, the feet themselves and the some details like black circles to make her top make her look like more like a ladybug As for Josh Allen, I've also made good progress on that. During that afternoon period. Basically, for the afternoon period, I first worked on the Ladybug Star Foam Drawing, then the Josh Allen Star Foam Drawing, and then during that karaoke night at Fatso's, I brought the ladybug with me and then worked on it again. And then while I did so, I got distracted because an older woman struck up a conversation with me, basically taking interest in my polystrain drawings. Actually, now that I think about it more, she kind of got my interest a little bit, too, because she initially came over because she saw my marker satchel and thought they were, you know, that they were Copic markers. Yeah, when in actuality, they're really, again, Sharpie markers because Copic markers are really expensive high-end permit markers.
and I told her as such. And there were points throughout the night in which she saw me working on the Ladybug Star Foam drawing. And then Mom gave her uh, one of my Tyler Foam's business cards. I recall having my daily cup of coffee at mom's place around uh, 3.30 p.m. or so. And I th think uh, at some point today, either around that time or within the first hours of today, I had... A Kobe Jack cheese stick, the last one that uh, we had at the time, and still do, because there were initially plans for us to go grocery shopping today, but uh, we ultimately decided not to do that. Though those plans were made the day before, not today, so. A Jolly Jelly is currently the only thing I can produce, the only production I can finish in my halfling farms. They're the only th settlement good, settlement good for which I haven't yet hit the the storage cap and i need a whole lot for the last halflings research technology and then it's off to the elementals chapter uh, with their satiant goods And what not. Uh, that older woman also gave me the idea. Before I corrected her regarding the. Markers in my marker satchel not being. Cops. Cops pick. Topic but. Actually, Sharpie markers. And she told me about how she buys Copic Sharpie markers in bulk off of eBay for a discounted price. And which gave me the idea... To try to do the same for Sharpie markers since while they are relatively cheap Sharpie markers, yeah, there is nothing wrong in getting them for even less, potentially. I checked the eBay listings on mobile. For Sharpie permanent markers, and it turns out you know, there are, in fact, some pretty good deals for Sharpie permanent markers on eBay.
Plus, she also has a whole bunch of permit sharpie markers at her place that she never uses. So, the next time she sees me, she could, next time she's at Fatso's, the bar and grill, she could give some of those Sharpie markers to me. Which would also be nice. I would definitely put them to use sooner or later.